What can you tell us about the people in the bazaar? Some of it is real private, but some of it probably should be. But you young whippersnappers tell everyone everything. He taps the side of his bulbous plastic nose. Like Paradolia Jones? He's probably the best damn caravan master in the bazaar. But his business would be better if he knew how to keep his mouth shut. Between you and me, if I was afraid of ducks, I wouldn't tell a soul. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's say goodbye. So soon? I suppose even good things gotta end sometime. You be safe now, you hear? And come back to see old Long John when you can. Best of luck to you. Okay, let's save and now confront him. He might Don't get be uh bashful or nothing. If you know any way I can help, y'all need to be telling me what I can do. Okay. So why are you trying to pretend you're not a synth? Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle. Just like you, Rangers. Shucks. I even have dreams all the time. Technicolor the dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Since don't do that. <laughs> um, we still think you're a synth. I'm not a synth. Wow, just last night I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and brash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. Toasted eggs? A very human thing. Um, you know everyone can tell that's a mask, right? Look, we can see the strings. Oh, you kids and your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, would they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> he hesitates. All right, fine. I am a synth. But you can't tell anyone. Um, but everyone in the bazaar already knows. Do they? I'm not sure I believe that. If they knew, wouldn't they have melted me down to scrap by now? People don't like sense, far as I've seen. You're clever ones, and bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. Okay. Best of luck to you. Okay, Long John. Hot um, noodles. So what else do we have? We have uh, this girl. I think that she's uh, she's gonna sell armor, and you are gonna sell what exactly? Don't know. How big is this place? Well, not that. Not that big. Not that big. Something's wrong with William. He always moves so slow. Promise Doc I quit the booze. Problem is, won't quit me. Don't kid it. I don't feel so good. Why hello! Name's Hirsch. Lev Hirsch. But you can just call me Dr. Cold Cuts. <laughs> what do you need? Could you patch us up? Patch us up? Yeah, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. <laughs> Cash first and I'll fix you right up. Um, yeah. Eight days. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. Why is your name called Cuts? Oh, it used to be the veterinarian slash butcher here back in the day. Learned all about how the body works by carving up meat. <laughs> Uh, animal meat, uh, of course. Uh, when Doc Kessler passed, well, I uh, inherited the position. Can you tell us a bit more about the bazaar? Uh, not much. Got all kinds of traders here, selling all sorts of junk. <laughs> the heart of this place is meat, though. 
pig meat is a luxury not everyone can afford. Anyway, got a bit of a pickle of late. Something murderous roaming the Warrens. Some say it's the old monster army leader, the Cyclops come back from the dead and hunting us. Bunch of BS if you ask me, but something's down there. Talk to Flab if you haven't already. Mm. Uh, not much. Got all kinds of traders here, selling all sorts of junk. <laughs> Anyway, got a okay. bit of a pickle. Uh, do you sell plate. any medical supplies? Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. Oh, what's this? First aid station? This device contains enough healing gas for several pulses. The bioaccelerant will qu quickly get any nearby ally back on their feet. What? 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 Deploys a portable first aid station restores 25 con per turn to anyone standing around it. Oh, okay. So, okay. Okay, I see how it is. What's this? Ultra Morphine. More of a, more than a painkiller. UM actually kills pain. One dose can make a soldier unstoppable until the effects wear off. So 75% con per turn over three turns, but suffer internal bleeding afterwards. Applies Ultra Morphine. Wow, that's a lot. Basically a full heal every turn for three turns. Uh, let's get some of these. Maybe not that many. Maybe, maybe something like so. There we go. Ah, you again. What is it? Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure. Uh, take a look. This removes radiation, includes including mutations. Remove radiation. Um, let's grab a few. We might need them in the warrens. I, I don't know. There we go. Get your protective gear oh, here. These are I perfect. I can't believe we missed the sale of Piscatelli's. Don't mind me. I'm just browsing. Uh, having a hard time making up my mind. A reek of tobacco and tannin surrounds this wizened, dark-skinned woman. Without breaking eye contact, she swaps her chewed-down cigarette stub for a fresh one and lights it before she speaks. Ah, huh, you look like tough sorts. Patriarch sent you. Whoever you are, we can certainly use your help. Some kind of beastie down in the Warrens or something. Talk to Flab up the stairs. Your Talbot? Rather than answer, she takes a long drag of her cigarette. Your question does not seem to have impressed her. Hmm, okay. Um, what do you sell? Kind of depends on who's buying. For you? Hmm, leather goods, protective gear. Armor? Up to you if you want to deflect stabbings or look like a badass. Either way, I have you covered. Can I? S can we see your wares? That's why I'm here. Okay. Um. So these are some armor mods. Status effect resistance plus thirty percent. Wait. Oh, that's. Okay, that's status effect, and this is straight up damage resistance. Combat speed. Leg armor mod. Wow, that's awesome, actually. Nine? It requ requires nine uh, armor modding. A bunch of resistances. Wow. Okay, um... Tank helmet. Okay, so this is the next grade of this, right? Yeah. Um, we can't buy two of them, can we? So we could buy this for you, which is better. There we go. Uh, for you... We 
yeah we can definitely buy two of these well maybe maybe we'll find some in the in the warrens it's not like we have a bunch of money though yeah let's do it this and this and uh, for you guys So you get a bit less combat speed, but you get armor. You're not gonna get shot at a, at a lot anyway. Um, you're gonna get shot a lot. And you as well, Lucky. So let's see you. Yeah, let's give it this. And... Wait, you don't have pants? Oh, that's unacceptable. And you have the helmet already. That's good. Now you don't have... Let's give it this. And better pants as well. Um, now let's do some equip equipmenting. And hopefully it doesn't break the game again. Um, where are you? There you are. Wait. Go. And do we want to buy her an armor as well? A head armor, I mean, this is four armor. Don't know yet. Yeah, you're gonna, definitely gonna need this set. And where is it? It's one. There you go. much better much better and the helmets so we can get did I not buy another helmet I think I didn't I think I did not hmm Well, let's let's keep it like so for now. I mean, we would be losing a f a bit a bit of damage, but not too much. Yeah, not too much. Let's let's put it. Let's also grab an on helmet for her. Hello. Welcome to Talbot's Tannery. Kinda depends on who's buying. That's why I'm here. So helmet for her. And also a helmet for her, right? Yeah. For her. You're good on helmets. Oh no, actually. No, let's give you one for you as well. So that's good. No, not you, you. There we go. Now you have this as well. Bit more armor, bit more hit chance. Okay then, 
So we majorly upgraded our defenses. That's good. What else is here? Paris Handler. Oh, you're the die. Merchant. My dyes. Can we buy some? People love my dyes. No. Oh, that's too bad. Um, this is what? Oh, this is a museum. Okay, dude. Uh, what do you have? Corex. Oh, wow. Are you rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left. Uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any rangers in a while. Are you here to fight the monsters under the bazaar? That would be awesome. Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of, uh, coolness. W would you like a tour? Uh, sure, give us a tour. Really? Uh, okay. This way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Welcome to Quarex's Quabinet of Quariosities. Qu a collection of the rarest of the... Well, it's toys and games mostly, and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., a fellow game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. In the end, though, a boss got him, and, and, well, he didn't make it. I keep his hat around to remind me to be honest and decent like he was. This was the best video game ever! Wasteland 4! You can choose what color you want the screen to be, red or green. This is the most sought-after gaming accessory ever made! The legendary Mighty Mitt! I love the Mighty Mitt! It's so bad! <laughs> this is a genuine megascope! The most advanced optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. Shame somebody stuck it on that silly old ray gun, but I'm not gonna try to take it off. I might break it. This is a Tarjan the Tenebrous machine. It can tell your fortune, but you get a premium fortune if you have some special tokens. Wish I had some. This throne was once the most coveted object in the wasteland. The rule was whoever sat on it was the king. King of what exactly? I don't know. I also don't know who made that rule. <laughs> This is a slicer dicer, the scariest robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even makes julienne fries. Whatever those are, if this thing was working, we'd all be dead by now. <laughs> These are the most classic of classic arcade games. Avenue Brawlers, Cat Boy, and Star Intruder. This is a surfboard. I don't know what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this looks well loved. It has property of MF on it. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it does. Um. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. <laughs> Fun tour. Hi, um. Rangers. Good to see you again. Pre apocalypse. Pre-apocalyptic, you sat through Corx's entire museum tour. Oh, whoa, okay. Uh, uh, let's talk. Uh, sure. Your name is Corx. Didn't you live with the Topicans in Arizona? Oh, okay, the Topicans from Iceland too. The, right? Yeah. You must be thinking about someone else. Quarex is a more common name than you might think, you know. I think, isn't he the dude? I think he's the dude that had, um, no, I think I, the guy that collected all the video games. I think maybe that's him. I don't remember. Anyway, not me. Nope. Um... 
Perception 5. You're sweating a lot, Quarex. Oh, well, haven't you heard? Scientists say sweating is a sign of truthfulness. I... Uh... Okay, fine. I'm Quarex from Rail Nomads. Yeah, Rail Nomads. Happy now? Kind of cool you guys have heard of me. Nobody knows about me. Uh, what did you come to... Why did you come to Colorado? Well, basically, everything went downhill after Ranger Team Echo found that 3DO for me. Some shady guys started coming around asking me to sell it to them. And when I said no, well, they didn't like that at all. I was going to call the Rangers since you'd all been so nice to me. But then Ranger Citadel blew up, so I left. Had to leave all my cool stuff behind. Even the yeah. 3DO. So he's but the guy. there's lots of cool stuff around here, too. And I've been finding it. And that's how I started my museum. Uh, if you were on the run from shady characters, why didn't you change your name? Oh, I did. I just always forgot to say it. I'm supposed to say my name's Dave, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what can you tell us about the bazaar? It's great! There's so much cool stuff at all the merchant stalls. I add to my collection all the time. Uh, some spooky stuff has been happening lately, though. Monsters are coming up from the tunnels at night to snatch people. It's like Chud in real life. I, I, I don't know this reference. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Rangers. Thanks for visiting me. Okay, let's check these things. Uh, what's this? Display case. With the, with the laser. This display case contains an energy weapon that has been fitted with a highly sophisticated pre-war scope. It looks masterfully crafted and carefully maintained. Inspect the case. Small plaque beside the case said zap, pow, accurate to a single pixel. You'll never mix when using the megascope. The glass case does not appear to be locked. Let's leave it no, alone. Well, let's check what it is and then leave it alone. Megascope. Oh, it's a sniper rifle. Uh, kind of really bad sniper. Well, bad for us right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even with all the damage bonus, it's, it's not going to be any better. No, okay. So let's let's not do that. It's, it's not actually a scope. It's, it's straight up the whole weapon. So let's not steal from Quarex. He he might need it. He might he might uh, be angry. I don't know. We don't need it, so let's not steal it. So we kind of been we've been here. We've been here here as well. Um, we haven't been to this part. I guess <clears throat> this is the boss. No, the flab. Yeah, flab the inhaler somewhere up here maybe. Uh, there's a room to the left. We should go there. I think just the room and then the boss. The boss of the place, not actual boss fight or anything. But we still have a few things here, so this container. Storage unit key 105. We have a storage unit key 109 from the clown, from the dentist clown. And now we have a 105. Quarex tape, true accounts of Quarex's, Quarex's grand journeys and dream vacuum. Lucid bathroom and nightmare, okay. Made it past Telluride today, found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's cold and kind of scary, but there's treasure here too. That guy with the rat jerky? He had like six or seven 3DO cartridges just lying around his shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Practically gave them away. You know what? Leaving Arizona might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Okay. Good for you, Quarex. The ro robot slumps in place, eaten by rust, almost lifeless, save for the f faint pinpoint glow of its pupils. Ooh, we need nerd stuff. Um, hey, you functional? It, it clacks. Oh my god, it's functional. It clacks in reply. 
an uneven staccato noise, its head twitching like a clockwork bird that has forgotten the trick of realism. A hiss of black smoke unravels from the paneling of its throat. Okay, now let's not kick the robot. I'm gonna have to, so we have to remember to come here with the, can I, there we go. We have to come, uh, remember to come back here. Okay, nothing there. Inside his glass confinement, Tarjan bears his rectus grin to the world. An eye cracked the other throbbing like a flesh wound. There's a conspicuous red button beside it. The words press here to receive fortune. Um, it just... Okay. Um, so let's save. Let's save. Let's try this. Press the button. Tarjan remains stoic as you hear a shrill grinding sound. A tiny scrap of paper stamped with irregular writing emerges from a slot. A duck will become president. Okay. Did did something happen? Well, oh, so I didn't get any blessing. I don't see any buffs here aside from the leadership. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's this duck. The mission critical item rubber ducky. No idea. So that's all for the machine, I guess, right? There will only be mushroom clouds, there will only be dust, there will only be choking quiet and 10,000 years of grief. What the hell, man? Why, why is this so different? Is, is it different for every character? Your mother will inherit a tea set that once belonged to generations of British queens. Well, her mother is dead. So, that's not true. You're a... You're a lawyer! A lawyer! Is it the same? Is it gonna be the same? Or, um... Oh no, it's, it, I think it's random. Okay, so it's random stuff. So, um... Corex. Oh, there's a computer here as well. Let's, let's check the computer. And the VR device? The VR device is bulky, cumbersome, con cumbersome conglomeration of thick wires and dented shapes. Put, put, mm, put on the headset. The helmet doesn't quite fit. It slopes and slouches around your face, putting the alignment of your nose at risk. The text starts scrolling past the darkness, banding your eyes. Um. Okay, let's take off the headset. Maybe there's something on the on the computer. Uh. I, I, I know this song. Where's it from? Where's it from? A lovingly rendered scene of the Scottish Highlands flickers in 16 pixelated colors on the screen of this computer. A polyphonic chorus of beeps forms into a Gaelic tune as you read the title of the game the bard's oh the bard's tale for borrows deep yeah that's that's where the music is from oh such a good game bard's tale i played it well i i, I wasn't streaming at the time but i did play it and it was it was an awesome game um yeah so i did recognize the music uh, i don't think play the game you encounter fiendish cultists solve devious puzzles and compose magical songs but one challenge defeats you. The game ends with an epithet. You've been killed by 99 berserkers. <laughs> oh man. Um, is it say the same thing? Oh. As before you work your way through much of the land surrounding Scarabray. Yeah, Scarabray. But you are slain before you could reach the end. You've been killed by 99 berserkers. <laughs> 